Okay, let me ask you a question about Brady and Rogers because mm-hmm. we're going to talk about them together now. Who do you think is more likely to turn it around? It's such a, a ESPN yeah, TV question. <laughs> it is. Um, I think Brady. Me too. Me too. Okay. No, me too. Good. We're at same yeah, range. Uh, yeah. I mean, they they have more time uh, given their division issues, um, and they have a defense that we know is capable of being really good. Um, the Packers defense has a lot of talent, but we've never seen them be really good. <laughs> Uh, and and they it's a modern game where passing is the most important thing. They do have receivers who are also really good. Interior of the offensive line and the run game are problems that potentially you can find ways to work around. The Packers' offensive problems, I think, are more difficult to work around, and their defense is just like it's the sum of its parts is less than – the the value of each of their individual parts. So, like, I don't believe they're going to just suddenly start playing uh, shut down defense. So, which I could I could easily see the Bucks go back to playing yeah. the type of defense they were to start of this year. I, so I'm with Brady because he still makes every now and then he he, mm-hmm. he still makes some really really good throws downfield. Whereas Rodgers, we'll get to Rodgers in a second, isn't even attempting them at this point. Um the Bucks, it's it's kind of hard to pick one thing that's wrong with the offense cuz there's a bunch right. of things and we've talked to no end about the run game and how awful it is and you know, uh I think the the reasons for that awfulness are a little bit complicated and there's a few things. Um, John Ledyard, who covers the Bucks, is a Bucks fan and does a great job. I was DMing with him about it. And he talked a little bit about how, you know, they have such a north south run game, right? It's very old school and they just don't have the linemen. And so he feels like there should be some sort of uh variation. I don't know, more gap stuff, maybe get the guards and the move a little bit. But as far as Brady himself. You know, I kind of said this last week, but it really jumped out to me watching Carolina. I said he doesn't want to get hit. Anything over two and a half seconds, it can go. Either he's going to throw a dime or he's going to freak out because he doesn't want to get hit. (laughs) That literally is how I feel right now watching him. And I actually think usually he makes the offensive line look better. I actually don't think they're as bad as he seems to believe, if that makes sense. Um, It's just... It, there's n- outside of the quick game, there's no confidence there and no consistency. And I, but I do think that's more likely to get better because at least he's making the throws. Yeah. I mean, I think the, the answer to the bucks run issue may be more complicated, but I also, I think the answer to the Packers issue with the running game is a little simpler and that they need to put Aaron Rodgers under center. Because Ooh, okay, oh, I can't wait to talk about this. You disagree? No, no, I agree, and you, I, I was oh yeah, because I was well, okay. Yeah. yeah, I've been I I just think that it's very difficult to have an effective running game with your quarterback and shotgun if your quarterback's not a run threat. Yeah. So it's it's not something that like shotgun is meant to pass. Like that's the point of shotgun, and nothing else. That's the formation is optimized for for throwing the ball. So. If you don't have, and this goes back to what we were saying about the Bears at the beginning, you need something. You need your thing, your your yeah. infinity stone that you're going to build your thing is around. Aaron Jones, dude, your thing is Aaron Jones. Yes. Yeah. So let's do it. Speed. 